The Lost Books of the Bible. The first book of Enoch chapter 89, verse 1 to 77. The deluge and the deliverance of Noah. And one of those four went to that white bull and instructed him in a secret, without his being terrified. He was born a bull and became a man, and built for himself a great vessel and dwelt thereon. And three bulls dwelt with him in that vessel and they were covered in. And again I raised mine eyes towards heaven and saw a lofty roof, with seven water torrents thereon, and those torrents flowed with much water into an enclosure. And I saw again, and behold fountains were opened on the surface of that great enclosure, and that water began to swell and rise upon the surface, and I saw that enclosure till all its surface was covered with water. And the water, the darkness, and mist increased upon it. And as I looked at the height of that water, that water had risen above the height of that enclosure, and was streaming over that enclosure, and it stood upon the earth. And all the cattle of that enclosure were gathered together, until I saw how they sank and were swallowed up and perished in that water. But that vessel floated on the water, while all the oxen and elephants and camels and asses sank to the bottom with all the animals, so that I could no longer see them, and they were not able to escape, but perished and sank into the depths. And again I saw in the vision till those water torrents were removed from that high roof, and the chasms of the earth were leveled up and other abysses were opened. Then the water began to run down into these, till the earth became visible. But that vessel settled on the earth, and the darkness retired and light appeared. But that white bull which had become a man came out of that vessel, and the three bulls with him. And one of those three was white like that bull, and one of them was red as blood, and one black. And that white bull departed from them from the death of Noah to the Exodus. And they began to bring forth beasts of the field and birds, so that there arose different genera, lions, tigers, wolves, dogs, hyenas, wild boars, foxes, squirrels, swine, falcons, vultures, kites, eagles, and ravens. And among them was born a white bull, and they began to bite one another. But that white bull which was born amongst them begat a wild ass and the white bull with it, and the wild asses multiplied. But that bull which was born from him begat a black wild boar and a white sheep. And the former begat many boars, but that sheep begat twelve sheep. And when those twelve sheep had grown, they gave up one of them to the asses, and those asses again gave up that sheep to the wolves, and that sheep grew up among the wolves. And the Lord brought the eleven sheep to live with it and to pasture with it among the wolves, and they multiplied and became many flocks of sheep. And the wolves began to fear them, and they oppressed them until they destroyed their little ones, and they cast their young into a river of much water. But those sheep began to cry aloud on account of their little ones, and to complain unto their Lord. And a sheep which had been saved from the wolves fled and escaped to the wild asses. And I saw the sheep how they lamented and cried, and besought their Lord with all their might, till that Lord of the sheep descended at the voice of the sheep from a lofty abode, and came to them and pastured them. And he called that sheep which had escaped the wolves, and spake with it concerning the wolves that it should admonish them not to touch the sheep. And the sheep went to the wolves according to the word of the Lord, and another sheep met it and went with it, and the two went and entered together into the assembly of those wolves, and spake with them and admonished them not to touch the sheep from henceforth. And thereupon I saw the wolves, 
and how they oppress the sheep exceedingly with all their power. And the sheep cried aloud, and the Lord came to the sheep and they began to smite those wolves, and the wolves began to make lamentation. But the sheep became quiet and forthwith ceased to cry out, and I saw the sheep till they departed from amongst the wolves. But the eyes of the wolves were blinded, and those wolves departed in pursuit of the sheep with all their power. And the Lord of the sheep went with them, as their leader, and all his sheep followed him, and his face was dazzling and glorious and terrible to behold. But the wolves began to pursue those sheep till they reached a sea of water, and that sea was divided, and the water stood on this side and on that before their face, and their Lord led them and placed himself between them and the wolves. And as those wolves did not yet see the sheep, they proceeded into the midst of that sea, and the wolves followed the sheep, and those wolves ran after them into that sea. And when they saw the Lord of the sheep, they turned to flee before his face, but that sea gathered itself together, and became as it had been created, and the water swelled and rose till it covered those wolves. And I saw till all the wolves who pursued those sheep perished and were drowned. Israel in the desert, the giving of the law, the entrance into Palestine. But the sheep escaped from that water and went forth into a wilderness, where there was no water and no grass. And they began to open their eyes and to see. And I saw the Lord of the sheep pasturing them and giving them water and grass, and that sheep going and leading them. And that sheep ascended to the summit of that lofty rock, and the Lord of the sheep sent it to them. And after that I saw the Lord of the sheep who stood before them, and his appearance was great and terrible and majestic, and all those sheep saw him and were afraid before his face. And they all feared and trembled because of him, and they cried to that sheep with them which was amongst them, We are not able to stand before our Lord or to behold him. And that sheep which led him again ascended to the summit of that rock, but the sheep began to be blinded and to wander from the way which he had showed them, but that sheep what not thereof. And the Lord of the sheep was wrathful exceedingly against them, and that sheep discovered it, and went down from the summit of the rock, and came to the sheep, and found the greatest part of them blinded and fallen away. And when they saw it they feared and trembled at its presence, and desired to return to their folds. And that sheep took other sheep with it, and came to those sheep which had fallen away, and began to slay them. And the sheep feared its presence, and thus that sheep brought back those sheep that had fallen away, and they returned to their folds. And I saw in this vision till that sheep became a man and built a house for the Lord of the sheep, and placed all the sheep in that house. And I saw till this sheep which had met that sheep which led them fell asleep, and I saw till all the great sheep perished and little ones arose in their place, and they came to a pasture, and approached a stream of water. Then that sheep, their leader which had become a man, withdrew from them and fell asleep, and all the sheep sought it and cried over it with a great crying. And I saw till they left off crying for that sheep and crossed that stream of water, and there arose the two sheep as leaders in the place of those which had led them and fallen asleep, literally had fallen asleep and led them. And I saw till the sheep came to a goodly place, and a pleasant and glorious land, and I saw till those sheep were satisfied, and that house stood amongst them in the pleasant land. From the time of the judges till the building of the temple, and sometimes their eyes were opened, and sometimes blinded, till another sheep arose and led them and brought them all back, and their eyes were opened. 
and the dogs and the foxes and the wild boars began to devour those sheep till the lord of the sheep raised up another sheep a ram from their midst, which led them. And that ram began to butt on either side those dogs, foxes, and wild boars till he had destroyed them all. And that sheep whose eyes were open saw that ram, which was amongst the sheep, till it forsook its glory and began to butt those sheep, and trampled upon them, and behaved itself unseemly. And the Lord of the sheep sent the lamb to another lamb and raised it to being a ram and leader of the sheep instead of that ram which had forsaken its glory. And it went to it and spake to it alone, and raised it to being a ram, and made it the prince and leader of the sheep. But during all these things those dogs oppressed the sheep, and the first ram pursued that second ram, and that second ram arose and fled before it. And I saw till those dogs pulled down the first ram, and that second ram arose and led the little sheep, and those sheep grew and multiplied, but all the dogs, and foxes, and wild boars feared and fled before it, and that ram butted and killed the wild beasts, and those wild beasts had no longer any power among the sheep and robbed them no more of aught. And that ram begat many sheep and fell asleep, and the little sheep became ram in its stead, and became prince and leader of those sheep, and that house became great and broad, and it was built for those sheep, and a tower lofty and great was built on the house for the lord of the sheep, and that house was low, but the tower was elevated and lofty, and the lord of the sheep stood on that tower and they offered a full table before him. The two kingdoms of Israel and Judah, to the destruction of Jerusalem. And again I saw those sheep that they again erred and went many ways, and forsook that their house, and the Lord of the sheep called some from amongst the sheep and sent him to the sheep, but the sheep began to slay them. And one of them was saved and was not slain, and it sped away and cried aloud over the sheep. And they sought to slay it, but the Lord of the sheep saved it from the sheep, and brought it up to me, and caused it to dwell there. And many other sheep he sent to those sheep to testify unto them and lament over them. And after that I saw that when they forsook the house of the Lord and his tower they fell away entirely, and their eyes were blinded. And I saw the Lord of the sheep how he wrought much slaughter amongst them in their herds until those sheep invited that slaughter and betrayed his place. And he gave him over into the hands of the lions and tigers, and wolves and hyenas, and into the hand of the foxes, and to all the wild beasts, and those wild beasts began to tear in pieces those sheep. And I saw that he forsook that their house and their tower and gave them all into the hand of the lions, to tear and devour them, into the hand of all the wild beasts. And I began to cry aloud with all my power, and to appeal to the Lord of the sheep, and to represent to him in regard to the sheep that they were devoured by all the wild beasts. But he remained unmoved, though he saw it, and rejoiced that they were devoured and swallowed and robbed, and left him to be devoured in the hand of all the beasts. And he called seventy shepherds, and cast those sheep to them that they might pasture them, and he spake to the shepherds and their companions, Let each individual of you pasture the sheep henceforward, and everything that I shall command you that do ye. And I will deliver them over unto you duly numbered, and tell you which of them are to be destroyed, and them destroy ye. And he gave over unto them those sheep, and he called another and spake unto him, Observe and mark everything that the shepherds will do to those sheep, for they will destroy more of them than I have commanded them. And every excess and the destruction which will be wrought through the shepherds, 
record namely how many they destroy according to my command, and how many according to their own caprice, record against every individual shepherd all the destruction he effects, and read out before me by number how many they destroy, and how many they deliver over for destruction, that I may have this as a testimony against them, and know every deed of the shepherds, that I may comprehend and see what they do, whether or not they abide by my command which I have commanded them. But they shall not know it, and thou shalt not declare it to them, nor admonish them, but only record against each individual all the destruction which the shepherds effect each in his time and lay it all before me. And I saw till those shepherds pastured in their season, and they began to slay and to destroy more than they were bidden, and they delivered those sheep into the hand of the lions. And the lions and tigers eat and devoured the greater part of those sheep, and the wild boars eat along with them, and they burnt that tower and demolished that house, and I became exceedingly sorrowful over that tower because that house of the sheep was demolished, and afterwards I was unable to see if those sheep entered that house. First period of the angelic rulers, from the destruction of Jerusalem to the return from the captivity. And the shepherds and their associates delivered over those sheep to all the wild beasts, to devour them, and each one of them received in his time a definite number. It was written by the other in a book how many each one of them destroyed of them. And each one slew and destroyed many more than was prescribed. And I began to weep and lament on account of those sheep. And thus in the vision I saw that one who wrote, how he wrote down every one that was destroyed by those shepherds, day by day, and carried up and laid down and showed actually the whole book to the Lord of the sheep, even everything that they had done, and all that each one of them had made away with, and all that they had given over to destruction. And the book was read before the Lord of the sheep, and he took the book from his hand and read it and sealed it and laid it down. Second period, from the time of Cyrus to that of Alexander the Great, and forthwith I saw how the shepherds pastured for twelve hours, and behold three of those sheep turned back and came and entered and began to build up all that had fallen down of that house. But the wild boars tried to hinder them, but they were not able. And they began again to build as before, and they reared up that tower, and it was named the High Tower. And they began again to place a table before the tower, but all the bread on it was polluted and not pure. And as touching all this the eyes of those sheep were blinded so that they saw not, and the eyes of their shepherds likewise. And they delivered them in large numbers to their shepherds for destruction, and they trampled the sheep with their feet and devoured them. And the Lord of the sheep remained unmoved till all the sheep were dispersed over the field and mingled with them, it s the beasts, and they, it s the shepherds, did not save them out of the hand of the beasts. And this one who wrote the book carried it up, and showed it and read it before the Lord of the sheep, and implored him on their account, and besought him on their account as he showed him all the doings of the shepherds, and gave testimony before him against all the shepherds, and he took the actual book and laid it down beside him and departed.